Today, I will tell you one terrifying story that happened to me last summer. Me, like most Canadians, like to swim in the clear, quiet, warm lakes when spending time in the backcountry cottage or camping, doing some outdoor activities. And I was attacked by leeches again. And this time, it wasn't the regular black medicinal leech, Macrobdella decora. This one I've been attacked by before many, many times, so I've gotten used to them. I'm not afraid anymore. I've even started using them for bass fishing. So I know how to handle leech bites now. You remove them, you clean the cuts. If you wish to watch our educational video on leeches attacks, the link is below. But this time I was attacked by a small brown spotted leech. I've seen these before, once, attached to a snapping turtle. But there was something strange about this leech. When I found the leech, it was attached to my foot, right after a nice, good swim in the lake. And I was surprised that the leech wasn't feeding on me, but it was just attached to my foot with its tail sucker. Okay, well, I thought maybe the leech doesn't want my blood because I'm warm-blooded and I'm not a snapping turtle. Maybe I taste different. So I removed it and shortly forgot about it. I was enjoying the sun and then I noticed that my foot has multiple small drops of blood, mostly between my toes. And I began to panic. What happened? Is it allergies? Did I catch some sort of strange lake parasite? I began to study my foot and then I noticed how many tiny small baby leeches were trying to escape. My foot was itchy and I had put some medication on it, tried to keep some of these leeches hostage. It was terrifying. I had all these crazy thoughts in my head that I was attacked not by one leech, but by dozens of them. I don't know how many of them were feasting on me for how long, but I guess they all escaped unpunished. So I was researching and my crazy guess was correct. I was attacked by Placobdella parasitica, which is a northern freshwater leech. The preferred blood meal for Placobdella is typically turtles, frogs, aquatic birds, and amphibians like salamanders. The leeches, of course, won't say no to a nice drink of blood from a human, however. These leeches are quite unusual. They are good and caring parents because baby leeches need love too. Leeches are usually thought of as these blood-sucking parasites, so it's difficult to think of them as these loving parents. But they are. Like all leeches and their relatives, Placobdella is hermaphroditic, which means that individuals are born both male and female. The parent leech carries the eggs until they hatch, and once they hatch, the baby leeches attach the parent with their suckers, and the parent will carry them to their first blood meal. When I realized this, it was a nightmare. I was probably attacked before, and I just never noticed, because these baby leeches are so small, and they look like pieces of lake vegetation or decomposed pine needles attached to my wet feet. They are masters of mimicry, and they are so tiny. It is horrifying to think that most people probably never noticed that they were being attacked by these small baby leeches. They do their feeding fast and they escape immediately. So now it is clear to me why the mother leech wasn't feeding itself. Because it was all about giving her offspring their first life-saving meal. Nature is amazing, isn't it? 